Right, so I'm probably in the pitch black right here. So I'm going to start this vlog tonight where I'm about to go back to my hotel. Um, there should be one or two videos on the channel where I'm at a beer fest serving on behalf of a brewery called Jim Brew, which is amazing. But uh, we just finished that video right now and we're at Left Hand Giant in Bristol, which is a big brewery here. So I'm going to start this video today. So I'm probably going to be much sober in the morning. Um, I figure I'm quite sober now, actually. <clears throat> it's been a long day. I'm exhausted. But uh, let's head back to the hotel and uh, we'll commence tomorrow where we'll explore a bit of Bristol. So I'm currently on, on this really cool bridge at the moment. The brewery is right by here that I was in. So we're going to follow this windy bridge and head back to the hotel. So let's go. Hey, what's happening? So it is a new day. Um, I'm going to check out the hotel soon and we'll look for something cool to do for like the next hour or plus in Bristol before heading back to South Wales. Uh, the weekend it was like a blur because the, the beer festival was over two days and I had quite a bit of a lay in today, a lie in. And after waking up, I feel like it was almost a dream because it went so quickly, you know. But yeah, let's um, head on downstairs, check out, and look for something alternative to do in Bristol. So let's go. We're off to the ground. Hey, what's happening? Can stop there then, can you? <laughs> As you can see in the footage just then, we traveled a little way through uh, Bristol to a place called Radcliffe. And I've always wanted to be here. You see this place every time you come in on the train as well, because of the colorful houses that a lot of people associate Bristol with. But we're not here just for that. We are here to check out the art installation down here, which is in the Radcliffe Claves, Caves called We Are Warriors. So I found this online. It looks cool. It's meant to be an immersive light show inside the cave of Radcliffe. Also, um, this part of Bristol was used in the filming of Being Human, which is one of my favorite BBC Two shows ever. Unfortunately, it only went as far as three series, even though I wish it would continue. I think the Americans made their own version of Being Human as well. But yeah, let's check out Radcliffe. Let's check out the streets of Radcliffe. And let's check out the Radcliffe Caves. And we'll probably check out this dock area as well, because it looks wicked. So it looks like the caves go underneath this car park here. So we'll investigate that in a bit. But this street is so iconic to Bristol that you've got to give it a look. Radcliffe Paradise Street. There we go, the houses just going. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if we're going to do anything after this immersion experience, but I will be heading back to South Wales and Newport today on the train from Bristol Temple Needs. Probably the most beautiful, or one of the most attractive uh, train stations in the UK, in my opinion, Bristol Temple Needs. Uh, there's also another one which is quite large called Bristol Parkway, which is more of a hub, hub um, station. You can see some of the caves here. Mm. 
Alright, so I just got my ticket on here now. Themes of the work are, it's all about voices, so silence voices, some mess voices, fighting to have to, fighting to have to hear your voice heard. Um, and in between time, started sort of making the work in 2018, it's been 100 years since women had the right to vote in the UK. Then started looking at gendered violence in Bristol and thinking about the work. Okay. Everyone's also invited to take a light, so please help yourself. That light um, will guide you into the darkness. Uh, but it represents a voice as well, like a silence voice. And you're invited to think about someone you know who's had to fight to have their voice heard or has had their voice silenced. Um, and then if you could place the light somewhere in the cave as a tribute, as a digital to that person, you'll be adding to the, sort of, the thousands of lights that have now been placed over the last few weeks. Brilliant. Creating this growing constellation and illuminating and reclaiming dark spaces. So that's the work. We've got a few house rules, um, and I'll scan you in if that's all right. Yeah. Um, so stick to the lit pathway here that you can see. That leads you round to the cave. Please don't stray from that. Um, we want to make sure everyone comes back safely. Um, you're very welcome to take photos, just no flash photography, please. Yeah. Um, and be aware of other people coming in and out of the space as well. Um, um, it's our last day today. Uh, so we've had a great run, but we're also filming for prosperity. Alright, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. <coughs> You've pre booked. Wonderful. Yeah, I just. So I'm going to scan you in. Paid outside now. Oh, thank you. I didn't realise you had a desk. That's not going to like it. I just need to. Um, yeah, you should come in and say hi. I just need to update. I just it. came by by you. Oh, yeah, Oh, wow. I didn't realise it was going to be so elaborate in here. So, this is the Radcliffe Caves. With the We Are Warrior exhibition going on right now. So if you didn't hear the guy at the beginning, I've got this light, which I'll be placing on the way out. As you can see, some people have attached theirs. Quite breathtaking. I didn't realise how cool it was going to be. Really Especially these columns as well.
access are at the moment. So as you just saw, the caves do extend quite a bit more. Um, but before we go, we should leave this here. Let's find a really obtuse place to put it. Maybe right by here. There we go. Good place. Right, I'm gonna take some photos in here before we go. It's been a really good experience. So uh, I'll be back. So this is the side door that goes into that part that fella just showed me. This is wicked. So that was fantastic, but unfortunately that's the last day the exhibition is actually going on. So been quite lucky to get access to the caves as well because they only open them for special events screening movies or the odd um, horror themed tour um it was actually used for um part of doctor who as well and being human which i just mentioned not too long ago uh, which is brilliant right, let's go and check out uh, the harbor Free. Yeah, just need a board license. You're giving me, definitely giving me ideas now. I'll have to come back with my rods, definitely. Definitely, any small cycle. I think it's worth it. A lever, I bought off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to buy Wow. You beat my PB on a roach. <laughs> uh, just made a new friend then for a mutual hobby of fishing. So uh, he's just telling me that you don't actually need a license to uh, fish on uh, the Bristol canals. You just need a standard rod license, which you need for fishing everywhere in the UK, apart from on the coast. So the caves are underneath here. I can see some cannons point poking out the walls, let's check it out. And then there's like a building right by here which looks wrecked. So we'll go in and see that in a moment. Gotta be careful though because my battery on my camera's going too low and I I think once the battery's gone, I think that's gonna be the end of the video, so. Because I want some private time. I'm actually going to South Wales from here and I'll be spending the next week in South Wales, so we'll do some exploring down here. Yeah, these are like, are they cannons with a cat pro on the, on the top? Someone's out of fire. I'm not sure, are these actually cannons? Someone let me know. Are they capped off? Well, to anyone who's a fan of Pokemon, check this out. The Lord Ditto. It's wicked. I wonder what our box is there, must be for insects. Yeah, there's no way in there. What the fuck is this? Oh, I can see weird paraphernalia and stuff, I'm definitely not going in there. Definitely not going in there. I'm not risking my health to do that. But I'm not going to go in there and get pricked by someone's needles. Right, so down here we've got the, um, the SS Great Britain. Uh, which is a bit of a walk from here, actually, but I think it's... Bristol Temple means it's this way, which I need to head towards at some point. Um, so I think we should go and get a coffee and then start planning my move. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed what's been going on today. So that's the alternative way down from uh, the top end of Radcliffe. And people are generally like, like really nice around you, helpful, and they do not try to abuse at you, unlike when we're walking around Liverpool. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a cool little private, private building. Looks like an axe prison, if I was to be honest. So we're by chance heading towards the SS Great Britain. Not intentionally to go in there, but um, we are en route. There must be more than apartments. It does look like there's a prison wall just run, which runs around them. It's quite cool. Is this original or made to look old? I'm going to say it's made to look old. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Charles Southwell. Atheist inspired here for the blasphemy after imprisoned here for blasphemy in 1841 so this building's a bit of a mix new and old yeah so you can see the original stone here and then obviously it's been updated work it let's keep going though so I'm rolling these videos in 4K. I've decided just to make every single video on my channel 4K now. Unfortunately, the shorts are not 4K because I'm using Opus Clip and it doesn't render out in 4K. So I might get the premium version of Opus Clip because my shorts are doing quite well. My shorts are doing much better than my actual videos on my channel. Um, but my point of doing this segment is to say that I'm only going to record when I, when I got something to talk about. Otherwise, if I roll on 4K all day long, the batteries are not going to last in this camera, so I'm just going to... Yeah, that's what I just wanted to say. The, I, I, I'm only going to film when i got something to say, rather than just, like, film constantly, because I do a lot of walking shots like this, as you guys know from watching previous videos. So I'm going to try and stop doing walking shots as much, and just try and talk as often as I can. So if there are videos that go out on the channel going forwards now, and they are... There's a lot of walking shots in it. It means that those are older videos that have been filmed further back. Obviously, I'm a bit more confident talking in the camera in public now, so um, that's something I've learned. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've learned to become a bit more confident in public. In, like, not having, like, loads of people around me, but there are people walking around me, and, um, yeah, I'm getting better doing that i guess that's what i'm saying so some of you guys might recognize this from my bristol festival video that went on the channel not too long ago so i gave this area a good walk around in that video so we're going to head over the other side of the uh the river but yeah you probably recognize all the all the train tracks and the boats from around here and the cranes so I just bumped into one of the brewers from last night, which is wicked, with his uh, partner and his girlfriend. So we, we're going to head this way instead. Go check me out. So last time I was here for the festival, see this concrete basin here, which is flat? That was just covered in so many people, you couldn't see the floor. And people were going all along there, all on the bridge, all along here all the way up here as well and all the way to the far end there were so many people here i could see a big wheel down here so let's go and check it out and i can smell amazing coffee and all sorts so we're probably going to head down here finish the video and then head back to south wales and see if anyone wants to meet up with me i wonder if that's rick stein's place probably not I can see a huge wheel, it looks wicked. This bridge is wicked too. Looks like giant horns off a bridge. 
There's loads of love locks on here. I have to admit, Bristol is bumping. There's like a big festival thing going on with there. <laughs> hey, look, Caffili. That's where I'm from. I'm closer to home now than uh, I would be if I was at my second home in Liverpool. Wicked. So I saw this big ball and I figured I'd come down here and check it out before we make our move. <clears throat> well, you can go inside it, but look. Like Fire escape. Anyway, I've had enough playing with balls. I've just realised on the street map down there that Bristol Cathedral is 0.1 miles away and Bristol Cathedral was one of the things that me and my partner wanted to do last time we was here when we was doing the Bristol, uh, Bristol uh, Harbour Festival so I'm um, just going to go to the cathedral I'll probably end up finding something else to do before going home but, so it could be here till midnight <laughs> but anyway I think I can see the cathedral just around the corner by here the good thing about Bristol, the lights hold the cars up for ages, so you get these massive uh, breaks in the traffic. So here we are. And I just realised I walked past it last time I was in Bristol and didn't know because I walked down the street here. Yes, yeah, so the last time I was here, I was at the O2, which is down here, and we walked up the street, and we went straight down the grass, and the cathedral was right there, and I didn't know, <laughs> and this is like, well, my 20th time in Bristol in my entire life. So let's check out the water feature, and I don't think there's any access to the cathedral, um, some gates up. So this is Colston Hall. If you guys remember in uh, lockdown when people chucked his uh, statue into the um, into the Bristol Canal. So this is one of uh, the establishments named after him, probably funded by him from uh, obviously slave trade because that's what the issue was with his uh, statue being dismembered and thrown away anyway it looks like there might be a side entrance open so we are on form from the front it does look like York Minster and also it does look it looks a bit like um, Westminster Abbey so these sort of uh, cathedrals seem to have a similar theme going going with them so I'm not going to film as I walk through the door, I'm going to see if I can film in first. I'm pretty sure I can, though, because churches are welcoming. If Mike was here, he would be straight on top of that. <laughs> Or even that one over there. And I would probably be running for the door. That was an Anglo-Saxon carving, that was. Is there a garden down here? Hmm? Is there a garden around here? Yeah. 
This way. This way, is it? Oh, it's not much of a garden. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how much it is. It's supposed to be there. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun in quietness, but it was nice to explore. I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way at the end. I was looking for the garden, for the, for the church, but it looked more like a car park. Those pesky bell pullers. So the bells are still going. But there's a little church on the street here, which is quite quaint. So I think we're coming up to the um, Bristol O2 here, which in my opinion is not one of the nicest uh, music venues to go to, but the streets around here are pretty original. So um, last time I was here, when we came out the O2, this pub, this pub was shut. So I think I might go in there for a refreshment and um, leave. But maybe in every time I do a video, I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave Bristol and actually done. let's see what happens. So this is the Bristol O2 Academy here. If you're tall, go there, but if you're not very tall, I wouldn't recommend seeing bands here because you'll never see them. So as you can see it was pissing outside and I'm hungry so I got a traditional corned beef. Tradition traditional corned pasty. Anyway, let's get the train. It's pissing down and I want to go home and the train is due on platform 5 right by here. And it's running about 15 minutes late, so I've got plenty of time to have a bit of a munch. So I'm after the 16.15, which is currently about 17 minutes late, so... If you're here just after our bash, it's about quarter past right now. No one seems to know what train we're on. This is mad. Even the people on the train don't know where they're going. Yeah, so no one knows where this train is going. Well, we can't find the conductor anyway. Hey, okay, we're good. We're on the right train. Now we are under the Bristol train. Ah. Just approaching Newport right now. And the weather doesn't seem to have improved much more. But I do love Newport, I am, I was born here. I spent a lot of time here growing up. And I'm here right now. And that concludes our round trip to Bristol and back. So I'm gonna end the video here, but if you've enjoyed it and you stuck around this long, leave a comment below and suggest where I should go next time. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you've liked it, but obviously you don't have to. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. My bus is here in 10 minutes. So timing's been very good on arrival.
I could stay in town but I'd have to wait for an hour for the next bus because they come every hour. The corn exchange. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Peace. Yeah.